So now we're going to add our camera and our null object so we can move the camera around using the null object. Okay, so if we go back on composition one, go to layer, new camera, and uh, the default settings should be fine. Just make sure depth of field isn't enabled because we don't need that right now. Okay, click OK. And layer, new, null object. And now we're going to parent the null object with the camera. So if we click on this icon here and drag it to the null object, the camera layer is now linked or parented to the null layer. Okay, so now we can go into the null layer press P we'll make it a 3D object sorry again like by clicking these icons we'll make it a 3D object okay so I want to zoom right into ICU so if you um drag this one on the far right of position you'll zoom in and out the middle one will take you up and down and the left the first one will take you left and right okay so we're going to add a keyframe on position so we're going to start off there. I want it to go over to driving. So we're going to add another keyframe and zoom out. So we can see driving. Let's have a quick preview of that, see if it's okay. No. Okay, so I want to zoom straight into IC, so there we go. And I wanted to pause there for a second, so I'm going to add a keyframe. And then as driving comes up, I'm going to add another keyframe. And zoom over to driving. So a quick look at that, see if it's okay this time. Yeah, that's okay. okay. So I'm going to add another keyframe at the end of that one. So then we can move on to round. So as round comes up, add another keyframe and focus your camera onto that. Okay, let's have a look at that again. Yeah, that's okay. I'm going to add another keyframe at the end of this again. So it keeps everything the same. So when we go on to do with, we can do what we like. So there's with. So let's add another keyframe. Zoom in. Add another keyframe after with so it keeps it, the camera steady where it is. And then as the comes up, add another keyframe and zoom into the. Okay. Let's have a RAM preview of this now, see if it's all okay.
Okay. I'm just going to go over quickly with you how to export your video once you've done it. Um, obviously, you can do the whole song or whatever you're doing. Um, I just want to show you how to render it. Okay, so making sure you've checked the continuous rasterization on or everything and the motion blur and the 3D layers. So it gives it a nice sharp finish. Go to uh, com uh, composition and add to render queue. This will give you a few settings you can change. Uh, click on best settings and it will change the quality um, of everything. You can use, you can change the frame rate to 30 if you need to, but we're going to keep it as the default, so best full and everything else should be fine. You click OK. Actually, for that, you can also go and change how much of your composition it will render. So in this case, I've only done like 10 seconds of the, of the song. So I'm going to go into here and make the render end at one minute. OK. And click OK on that one. And now your output module, you'll need to click on this because audio isn't checked by default. So we'll check audio output and the default should be fine. Click OK. And then this next one will be where you want to render it to. So if I make this a tutorial example, I obviously choose desktop, QuickTime and save. And then once you've done all that, click render. This bar will quickly go across, and obviously once it's done, then it'll be finished. Okay, so let's preview that now. Okay, looks good. Obviously you can see the uh, motion blur, blur more now, it gives it a really nice effect. Uh, so if you've got any questions about today's tutorial, uh, please comment. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial, and thank you for watching.